morning and welcome to today's Facebook Live. My name's Jenny McCormack. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I'm going to be continuing using the Quiet Meadow stamp set, which is what I used for our session on Monday. Um, a very easy to use cling stamp set, so it's red rubber. And it has, as you can see, two main floral images, but it has some really useful um, backgrounds. So we have this sort of broken up word design uh, with a paragraph, and then we have these lovely little spots here. Um, so perfect for creating soft backgrounds. We also have two little flowers here and four nice sentiments. Thinking of you, you're too kind, love, and then heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you. Um, so really useful um, stamp set and really easy to use as well. So let me show you the cards we made on Monday. Uh, this is what we're going to make today. So very simple stamping. And if you're not a fan of colouring in, then this is perfect for you. Because apart from the actual centres here, I haven't done any colouring in, I've used a blending brush to do the hard work for me. So let me just make sure we are live and I will show you the cards from Monday. Now I wasn't crafting yesterday but I was doing a walkthrough of the new catalogue. So if you missed that and you want to see that in detail you can hop back to yesterday's video and you will see that um, in more detail. So the cards that we made Monday just used this floral image and some of the sentiments. I had a small panel here and hopefully you can see I added the dots and the words into the background. And for this one I just used in both cases the reverse of the hand penned petals. and um, this one uses more of the paper because it's a busier background. So good morning Carol, Jeanette, Tracy and Kerry. Lovely to have you join me this morning. I'm glad uh, you tagged me Tracy because I was struggling to find the video. So that was very good timing. So this is what we did on Monday. Yesterday, as I said, I did a catalogue walkthrough. So if you'd like to see that, just look back through the videos for yesterday. This is what we're going to create today. And it's a very simple card. And this would be an easy one to make multiples of. And you could really substitute anything in here. Um, I have got an idea for a card that I'm going to do tomorrow that features a brand new stamp set from our um, July to December catalogue that I think would would work perfectly for this. So uh, watch out for that tomorrow. Good morning, Brenda. So this one is done in yellow, as you can see, with an early espresso um, sentiment on here. And as you'll see, all I'm going to do is stamp the flowers around the edges. And then I'm actually going to use a blending brush to do the colouring in. So you don't even have to colour it in unless you wish to. And then added in some blending and some background stamping. So that's how we're going to create this. So let me get my components ready. So I've gone for pinks. I've got Melon Mambo and Blushing Bride as my lighter colour. And I've got a piece of um, basic white and then a layer of Melon Mambo. And this is actually going to go onto a white card, like so. But you could easily do this straight onto a Melon Mambo card behind. And this will feature as one of the cards, along with this one here, for our coffee and card sessions on Friday and Monday. So Friday's in Brackley and Monday is in toaster. So let me bring in a piece of grid paper 
and our piece here. So this is the stamp set if you haven't seen it and I'm just going to be using um, this one here and then the two backgrounds. As I say you could substitute um, anything else. So here is our floral stamp and I'm not even going to bother masking or anything I'm just literally going to stamp it around the edges just, just going to make sure it's clean and obviously I've just tested it with the melon mambo <laughs> okay so I've got my darker colour and I'm just going to work around the edges and I'm really as I say not even going to do any masking or anything I just want this to be a really simple stamped card that anybody could do with this stamp set or an equivalent so here's my flowers going around here let's just sort of add that one in there and have this one coming off and this one in here so just basically creating a corner piece and I'm going to do the same up here this time I'm just going to put one in the corner and then two either side like I've done if you can see my other card I'll bring that down hopefully you can see it so really simple stamping and not worrying about a little bit of overlapping or any gaps you just want to keep it nice and straightforward I'm going to stamp my sentiment next and then I can add all the other bits and pieces around it and I want a fairly bold sentiment across that so I think I'm going to use I just managed to catch my microphone and knock it on the floor. Um, could you just let me know that you still have sound? <laughs> just to make sure it's still, oh, it looks like it's still working. Apologies for that. Okay, so I was going to use something from here, Create With Friends. Um, so I think I'm going to do, thank you, Tracy and Jeanette. Um, I had an idea what I was going to do now it's completely gone out of my mind um, I'm going to do your amazing that's it I'll have to think about that for a minute I'm hoping that's going to fit in now yes it is and your so we've got you and your so let's grab um, I only need a small block for the your and amazing on here Um, now I could keep this all completely pink but I think I am going to introduce early espresso just to break it up so it's not all pink hello Dee thanks for joining us this morning I hope you're keeping well so we've got the word amazing just going to stamp it on here to check it out yep that works perfectly so this is the one that's more critical which is why I'm doing this one first and then I can move the your around really but if I put the your in I might not have left enough space for the amazing so just you know think slightly ahead if you can so this is going in the middle there we go nice and crisp love that move that out of the way perfect so 
there we go you're amazing like so right so what I'm going to do now is use my um, blending brush and the two background stamps to turn it from something quite stark to something like this which is really soft okay so I'm going to start with the blending brush and I'm going to start with the lighter pink so I've actually got blushing bride this is a really old ink pad okay so I'm going to pick up some of the ink on the side of my brush and I am going to do a round of the flowers so basically what I'm doing is by using the edge of the brush I'm colouring in the flowers like so so it's quite subtle but hopefully you'll see the difference between these ones and this one down here obviously depends on the colour you use so this is Melon Mambo and Our Blushing Bride. This one here was Bumblebee and then I used Daffodil Delight. So a lighter shade. So whatever you do, you really want, um, if possible, two shades of ink, a light and a dark. Hi Catherine. Hi Zanna. Okay. So just bringing that in. So you get that coloured effect, but without having to colour it in. And I know not everybody is a fan of colouring in with pens or watercolour pencils. Um, so this is a good way to do that if you don't have a stamp that's got an infill. Quite a lot of our stamps will have infills that you can use. So Zanna and Catherine and Dee were using the Quiet Meadow stamp set. So this is a ongoing after our recent card class that used the Quiet Meadow bundle. So I'm just bringing those in. So I basically coloured those without having to do any colouring. Oh bless you Lynn, that's fine. I know quite a few of you are watching while you're working or have me in the background while you're working so I appreciate that as long as I don't get you into trouble so what I'm doing now is bringing that blending brush in and coming in from the edges so if I move that away hopefully you can see so this is um, unblended this is blended so it's just creating that really soft effect so if I had to do a whole series of cards, I would do them in stages like this. So I would do, excuse me, all the stamping first, mm -hmm. then I'd stamp the sentiments. Um, possibly use, if I was doing them all the same, then I'd use our Stamparata stamp positioning tool so that they would be exactly in the same place. I wouldn't use that for the stamping of the flowers because you're moving them um, moving them around so just bringing this in and you can take it all the way over or you can leave the central element fairly white entirely up to you so there we go so that's just using a stamped image and a blending brush. I know lots of amazing people. All of you are amazing. Taking your time out to watch me, so thank you. Okay, now I'm going to add in a little bit of this background. So I've got the dots and I've got the words. So I'm just going to stamp the dots here so you can see. 
ink so and this is a really pale ink so I'm not even having to stamp this off so just dotting that in there thank you value and morning Sylvia so if I just bring that up to the camera hopefully you can see that a little bit better I seem to have gone off to one side for some reason today so you can add as much of the dots as you want you can stamp off if you've got quite a dark color you could definitely stamp that off first and then we've got the text as well so I really want to add in a little bit of that again just to create a really soft background so I'm just going to add that in very lightly thank you Kerry almost so that you can't see it it's just literally in the background I think I'm going to do one more in here like so and so that really is it apart from layering it up if you wanted to you could add a bit of color oh thank you Sue I didn't realize you're watching Sue <laughs> So if you wanted to, you could add some colour in the centres. You could add some Wink of Stella for a little bit of um, glitter. On this one, I actually coloured the centres with Mango Melody Blends Pen. But you do lose a little bit of that um, detail. So for these ones, I'm just going to use... The wink of Stella so it's like a glitter in a in a pen form it's not a glue and obviously you could also add it to the flowers I'm not sure how much of that you can see in this light okay so I'm going to layer this up and then add um, a little bit of bling I think so very simple layers I've got a Mango Melody layer here, let's move that out of the way, and a white base card for underneath, which is here, and I think actually I will do a little bit of that technique on the inside of the card, so let me do that before I attach it. Um, let's bring this one back, let's bring the sample so you can see it. Here. Actually, I can see that wink of Stella really clearly, but I'm not sure that I'm not sure that you can. So difficult with the light. <laughs> Maybe if I do that, you can see it. Yeah, you can just about see it. So let's add this back in. So we've got coffee and card back um, in person, Sue on Friday afternoon so I don't know if that suits you or not so it'd be lovely to see you oh Kerry can just see it oh jolly good thanks Kerry so adding that one in there and then just a little on each edge Winker Stella is good isn't it love it Then again the same treatment. Let's grab blushing bride. So you could I mean this is not a um a complex card by any means, and you could really recreate this with almost any image, um, especially florals. You could even do this with dare I mention a Christmas image. Yes, it's fab, Tracy. I don't know if you saw our Monday, our Monday card. So I know you normally have coffee cards Monday, don't you? So just a nice way to be able to use what is just a single simple image, and then 
and just building this in. So you do really want two colours. You could do it with one colour if you were very careful blending your colour in. And you could use different colours, of course. Oh, you watch your catch up. Excellent. I thought you probably would. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit of the dots. Like so. You've got to love any stamp set that's got these really soft dots. And what I like about this is they're spread out so it's not too concentrated. Okay, so that's our inside. So let us layer this up. And I can do the same treatment on the envelope, of course. So I'm just going to layer these up. So these layers are half a centimetre in total um, difference. It's about two or three, um, two or three millimetres. Oh, that's nearly at the end. Let's try one that might have a bit more in. This looks hopeful. So a scribble of glue. Near to the edges but not right on the edge because you don't want it to squish out. So this is going to go on my melon mambo layer, so it doesn't really matter which way around it goes. You could use a contrasting colour as well. So the contrasting colour I would put on there would be, of course, early espresso. There we go. And that's going to go on here. And I might just add a little bit of bling. Why not? So I am sending out my um, catalogues, um, so I know some of you, for example, Brenda and that, won't have their catalogues yet, um, but they are going out. They went out with the classes last week and then they'll be going out with coffee and cards and in person via the post. There we go. Get rid of that. So there is our finished card. Let's put a bit of bling on there. This was our other one. So that was the sample one I did. This is the pink version I've just done. And I do like the boldness of the sentiment. And let's see what I've got that would go in here. So these little gems here would work. These are actually polished pink, but this is Magenta Madness, which is just a bit brighter. Let me see what else I have in my rather large stash. <laughs> I think that is probably it unless I had some pink sequins. So let's just put a couple of these on. Dun, dun. My scissors will do. So, oops. One on my finger, it's better to put it on the card as a general rule. So I'm going to put three on. One, two, and three. There we go. So that is our finished card using literally just the one main image from Quiet Meadow and then these two little background images so useful and I do like the sentiments as well um, and there we go so that is today's set of cards this is ongoing after our recent 
class in a box um, and our in-person classes so if you're interested in those do just comment and I'll send that information to you um, our next one is going to be released shortly and that will be cards for the men and the boys in our lives so I hope you're able to join me for that obviously you will be able to use those cards for girls as well um, but there was a particular request to do men's style cards which a lot of us struggle with so that is going to be our next month's class so thank you for joining me today for once I'm um, back on time um, just approaching half past ten so thank you very much Zana loves doing mail cards excellent Zana sorry one day I'll get it right um, so thank you for joining me today I will be back again tomorrow Thursday at 7 p.m. for our next design and I think what I'm going to do is keep this layout but change the stamp set to a brand new stamp set so thank you for joining me um, take care enjoy the rest of your day evening afternoon depending on when you've joined me or when you're watching on replay if you have any questions about anything I've used or anything of um, what we've covered today any of the techniques then do just comment and I'll be more than happy to get back to you and help you out thank you so much everybody take care Keep crafting, look after yourselves, look after your loved ones. Bye for now.